Hi, I'm Pato, and I'll try and keep this preamble part short. A couple things though. For one, I shaved my mustache. I look really different. It'll grow back. Nature will heal. Give it time. Okay, serious first thing though is I started college yesterday. I was already doing classes online over the summer, so nothing's super changing, but a lot more classes, and then they're also on campus instead of online, so a lot busier. Should still be able to make videos. There's a lot of moving parts though, so probably less. We'll see, we'll feel it out. Wish me luck. It's my last semester, so I need to pass everything. Crossing everything I have, I hope so. But yeah, just gonna be a lot busier between work and school and having a social life and actually reading and watching the things that I want to consume and then making videos on top of that. Videos is like the last priority, to be honest, so if I get busy, it'll be the first thing to go and I'll come back to it whenever I have the time. So if there's a gap or if things get less frequent, that's why. Second thing is I've been getting a lot of books and a lot of book recommendations in general, either from people I watch, from people I know in real life, or from comments I've been getting. And I've been writing all of them down. And the list of books that I have is getting absurd. Uh, so I definitely need to slow down or just read through some of it. So I've been buying a lot of the books on this list to try and chip away at the TBR. We'll see how it goes because there's so many that I really do want to read. There's a lot of stuff still on that list. Um, don't know how much of that I'm gonna get to in my lifetime, but um, we'll see. So this is what I have out of that list. And I've showed some of it off already on my Instagram stories, like as I get it. So this might not be new for all of y'all, but I figure most of the people on here haven't seen that. Speaking of Instagram stories, something else that people have asked if I have uh, letterboxed, I finally made one. You can find her wherever she's hiding down there, but finally have one. Um, don't have a Goodreads yet, maybe soon, but I don't really have plans for that, to be honest. I can't remember what books I've read. I don't know. It's, it's just a lot. Anyways, Letterboxd, Instagram, those exist if you care. Okay, with that out of the way, time to show off some books I got. Thanks. Back to the bookshelves. So I've gotten a ton of books the last month and a half. I have three different piles from different halls. The one on the right is the oldest, so I'm gonna start there. I've mentioned the books by name, but never really talked about what they're about, so a little more detail this time around. Starting off with George Saunders, A Swim in a Pond in the Rain, a short story collection that deconstructs short stories both as a reader and a writer, going through devices that make a story compelling or how to approach short stories differently than something longer form. I'm really interested in deconstructing writing or just reading about writing as like an abstract process that gets kind of meta at some points. I've heard great things about this and it just sounds super interesting, kind of academic, kind of headier than what I'm used to, but ready for it, I think. Next we have Invitation to a Beheading by Vladimir Nabokov. This is very dry, very parodical, satirical, cynical, and critical of governing systems, bureaucratic yellow tape, absurd in its depiction of that. It gets compared a lot to other books in the same vein, like The Trial by Franz Kafka or The Stranger by Albert Camus. The premise of this book is someone is accused of a crime that doesn't have a definition and can't be described and they are jailed waiting for a beheading and a bunch of characters come to visit them. Very absurd, very surreal. Excited to read it. Seems like a good time. A book I just mentioned, The Stranger by Albert Camus. This isn't the same plot-wise, but tonally it's kind of similar to Nabokov in the sense that there's a lot of philosophy, absurdism, though a lot more existential. And instead of it being the system, air quotes, it's more about the absurdity of the world as a whole. This book is about an ordinary man who gets caught up in a murder that takes place on a beach and it goes from there. This is a very short book, so I don't know anything besides that, and I feel like more information would just kind of be giving it away. I've heard really good things about this one, though. Actually, today when I bought books, I asked the bookseller what their favorite book was, and they said this one. So if that's not a sign to read it soon, I don't know what it is. Then I got two Ally Smiths. I got 
The Accidental and How to Be Both. The Accidental is about a summer home that gets visited by a stranger bearing gifts. I don't know much about this book aside from that it was $4, so I kind of impulse bought it. But Ali Smith tends to play with form a lot and writes a lot about art, at least in How to Be Both she does. This one plays a lot more with form. It also plays with time. It takes place across different time periods, different characters, focuses a lot about art, and has a very distinct voice from what I know about it. Excited to read this, still haven't gotten around to it, but plan to soon. On to the second pile of books. These were all a gift to me from my dad. He came to visit recently from different state and we went book shopping together and he offered to get these for me so took him up on that hence why i have so many books in the first place could not afford these on my own even if they are secondhand first up is the body where i was born by guadalupe Nettel. this is a depressed woman moving book where there's an unnamed female narrator and they are recounting their life through therapy or psychiatry sessions and going from there. It's very short, very concise, to the point. Excited to get to it. I got this with Women in Translation Month in mind since it's Mexican fiction, but I also just haven't read any Mexican fiction, I don't think, despite being Mexican, so kind of sacrilegious there, but this is going to be the next book that I read. A Personal Matter by Kenzaburo Oe. As you can tell by the name, this is some Japanese fiction, and I knew nothing about this beforehand but the cover is so sick and once i picked it up the premise sounded really interesting it's about a listless husband at a crossroads in life where he's in a failing marriage and then has a child that's born with brain damage and reckons with that it seems poignant and powerful next we have my first tony morrison i'm very excited i've heard not only from comments but just from people that i talked to that tony morrison is where it's at and beloved is pretty universally the best starting place i know nothing and plan to keep it that way also the cover of this book not doing it for me to be honest they had like the prettier version but i went with this one because the spine looks better in my opinion at least but i don't know if i made the right choice Next is a booktube darling, The Friend by Sigrid Nunez. This book is popular. If you watch booktube videos, I'm sure that you already know what this is or have seen people talk about it. I'm late to getting around to it. The premise, in case you don't know, is about someone inheriting a pet from a friend that passed away and dealing with that, grieving and healing, coping through that, around that, within that, etc. It's very well received and I'm finally getting around to it. Something less well received, however, is Lolita. Because I go into books blind so often, I don't know what this is and its reputation precedes it. So my only kind of connotation with this is negative, but Modern Ajuma is going to bat for this book and I trust them. So we're giving it a shot. I understand that Nabokov is satirical or tends to kind of play into the absurd. So viewing it through that lens, I have hope for this, although I'm grimacing a little bit, I'll be honest. And finally is another one that I hadn't heard anything about, Shame in the Blood by Tetsuo Miura. This is one that I got because it reminded me of another book that I had read. It's about tainted blood, kind of indirectly about like HIV and AIDS and fear of passing that on to children or just living with that. And Confessions by Kanai Minato is a book that has the same central theme of HIV, AIDS, in blood, and the repercussions of that. And I like that book, so I'm willing to give the motif another shot. We'll see if it holds up. And finally, The Last Pile. These are books that I got today. Starting off, we have On Beauty by Zadie Smith. I read NW earlier this year and loved it. I also picked up her essay collection, but I want to read more of her fiction, and all of it sounds good. So this is just where I chose to start, but White Teeth and Swing Time are ones that I also want to get to. Although White Teeth has a bunch of characters, and Swing Time is about dancing, which I don't particularly care about, so On Beauty is just what I was drawn to, but I will read those other ones eventually. 
Zadie Smith. Her writing is so beautiful. She plays with form in a really interesting way and writes characters so believably. Looking forward to reading more by her in the future. Her and Moshfeg both. I've only read one book, but it blew me away, so have to get to more. Next we have The Idiot by Elif Batuman. This is a book about college, academia, womanhood, some traveling. I think they're a Turkish American and at one point go to Turkey, maybe. I've tried to keep what I know about this light because just from the way people talk about it, I think I'm gonna love this one. Tried to not learn very much about it. I initially wanted to read either or and then learn that this came first. So finally getting around to it to eventually read either or, which also I think I will love. Really wanna read this one. Especially while I'm in college, it seems doubly relevant, so should get to it soon. Okay, this is a fun one. The Lottery and Other Stories by Shirley Jackson. I read The Haunting of Hill House earlier this year and loved it. So high hopes for this one. Short story collection, horror themed, written by Shirley Jackson, who is highly revered. I mean, she's established. I'm not breaking new ground. Also, I love horror in general, but I haven't read any in a while since I read a bunch of Stephen King and then got burnt out. So if you have suggestions for other horror writers, preferably women, feel free to let me know. Open to it, especially since we're closing into October. Although you saw how long my TBR is, so no promises. Drum roll, please. Finally, second place is mine with a pretty cover this time as opposed to the copy of Outline that I managed to find. Still not over how ugly those are, that's crazy. This is a book about womanhood, about male privilege, about the patriarchy, about a woman's role in that, both as an object and as a participant. It has a heavy emphasis on art though, which I'm really interested to see that intersection and all of that through Rachel Cusk's writing. I cannot read this fast enough. And lastly, Maggie Nelson's Bluets. Finally found this one too. This is a poetry collection all about crying and the highs and the lows represented in that. Sounds like a spectrum, sounds like a great time. Really want to read this. It's so short and people praise this so highly. I'm sure it packs a hell of a punch. I've been trying to get more into poetry, although the only thing I've read recently is Devotions by Mary Oliver, which has some great stuff in there want to get more into poetry, so along with horror, if you have suggestions, open to it. And those are all the books, is what I would say if those were all the books, but I have some checked out from the library that I will briefly mention. Already finished Assembly by Natasha Brown. Holy shit, what a book. It's so short, I read it in one sitting, but managed to do so much. It's a nameless female protagonist, depressed woman moving book where she's dealing with blackness, womanhood, corporate America, relationships, the pressure of being an immigrant and also being depressed and feeling like you're wasting generations of potential. I'm at a loss for how else to describe it. Such a good book. From the library, I also have Black Swans by Eve Babbitts and Housekeeping by Marilyn Robinson. Haven't read Housekeeping yet, but I'm halfway through Black Swans right now and loving it, honestly. A bunch of nonfiction short stories from her life as a Hollywood it girl, a lot of romance, relationships, sex, parties, celebrity, the whole shebang. It's a romp. It's a good time. Okay, almost done. I have two books left that are book mail that's on the way. One is Art, Sex, Music, which is the memoir of Kosi Fanny Tutti of the band Throbbing Gristle and later Psychic TV, Chris and Kosi. Really early industrial, electronic, ethereal, ambient, grungy, grimy, noisy, distorted pioneers, honestly. Super influential in a lot of aspects. She's such a badass. I can't wait to read about her life. And then I also got A Single Man by Christopher Isherwood at the behest of Alex or Cherry Core Jewel Reads on Instagram. They're super cool. If you don't know them, check them out. They mentioned the book in passing and I took that as a direct recommendation. So that's all the books for real this time. That's all the books. See y'all later. Thanks for watching and goodbye.